In Lisa Hallinan's kitchen in Booth Bay Harbor, she and two other Republicans told us they were able to vote for Bruce Poliquin even though they weren't supposed to, and at the time did not raise a red flag. I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't r realize that he wasn't supposed to be on my ballot. I've seen so many hundreds of ads for that race that when I went in, I just automatically voted in the ranked choice voting for him on my ballot. It didn't even cross my mind. Their towns are in the first congressional district and should have been voting in the Shelley Pingree, Mark Holbrook yes. race, not for Bruce Poliquin or Jared Golden. Lisa told us her ballot had both congressional yes. races. You voted in both congressional districts? I did. I certainly did. And, and I didn't even pick up on it, and I'm embarrassed as well. I am. I did. I voted for both, Paul Quinn and Mark Holbrook. Derek Joannidis and David Warford said they also had both races on their ballot. But election officials in the Booth Bay area and in Augusta are skeptical. The Secretary of State says in towns that count by computer, if there were incorrect ballots, they would be rejected by the machine. Lisa, David, and Derek say the machine took their ballots with no problem. Here at the Booth Bay Harbor town office, the town clerk told us that no one on election day reported any incorrect ballots. She also said they're not aware that any ballots were rejected by the machines for having the wrong races on them. And the voting warden, Nick Upham, told us the same thing. Nobody reported to me that they were getting second district ballots at all. He says some ballots were rejected by the machine because of improper markings, then counted by hand. But that was all. No, nothing was rejected because of a wrong congressional district. We were told the same thing at the town office in Booth Bay and at others we called. But these three insist it happened to them and say others have told the same story. And they want a chance to prove it. Yeah, I mean, I've been called a liar. Yeah. And all you got to do is open the box and you will see ballots. I just want them to open and see if he, do it. Open and see that Bruce Poliquin and... Shelly they're on that side of the ballot. Clerks from Booth Bay and Booth Bay Harbor told us that if somehow this did happen, all the other votes on those ballots would have been counted. The Secretary of State's office says there are currently no plans to examine the ballots from any of those towns, and those, two t and those towns are not part of the current second district vote recount. And by the way, the Secretary of State also says if somehow someone did cast a ballot in the wrong congressional district, that vote would not count.